Welcome to the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. I'm here with Big Mike Geyer, who is intimately familiar with uh, puddles. Yes, can I am. Can you tell me about how you guys got acquainted? I met him in a bar. I was a bartender in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And he wandered in one night and ordered, um, sat there quietly and just would order soda pops. But he wanted all the sodas would mixed up. So he would buy, get one soda and then he wanted a soda combined with another soda until eventually we were, I was mixing everything together. No booze. Right. Just the, just the disgusting, I call it suicide soda. Right, right. It was disgusting. It had sour mix in it. <laughs> What's it like on the road with that guy? It's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we, the two of us take up a lot of space, so it's cramped and quiet. Um, but, you know, we always meet these crazy cool people all the time. So it's always kind of exciting that we're going to go to a place and there'll be these kind of far out people. I mean, coming here is pretty, yeah. pretty crazy too. He's got a lot of pretty incredible, uh, fr incredible friends, really funny friends too. Yeah. I mean, it seems like, uh, he's all over the internet these days. I mean, he's, yeah, he loves up. He loves the internet. Yeah. He loves a public library. Really? Because you can really just really dig into the internet there. Um, so that's how he usually checks most of his messages and does his Facebook thing and his Twitter thing. I help him a little bit with it, but it's, yeah. it's mostly him. And do you know anything about his early life? I'd um, love to know what he was like as a kid, you know? Well, his, um, he doesn't talk a lot about it, but right. his, his, uh, he lived with his Meemaw and his Pawpaw. Okay. His Pawpaw was a... Uh, had a fishing boat, I think a shrimp boat. Okay. And so he would go out on the shrimp boat with his pawpaw and like a couple guys, but he would always have this kind of song and dance thing that he was always kind of into. So his pawpaw would put him to work and then at, when at lunch, he would put on these little like kind of vaudeville shows for the guys on the boat and they would pay him in shrimp. So that's where he got his love of shrimp cocktail. Okay. His favorite kind of I was cocktail. curious about that, yeah. Why do you think it is that he's resonated with so many people? Well, he doesn't talk. And yeah. A lot of people are talking all the time. Too much talk in the world. There's a lot of talk. Yeah. So he doesn't talk, so it slows everything down. Right. And sometimes you just got to slow it, slow it down. And he wears his emotions on his sleeve. Yeah. Which um, is kind of frowned upon. You know, yeah. people aren't, you know, everybody's got to suck it up or whatever the, whatever it is. And he's yeah. like, he just feels the way he feels. It's a sad and beautiful world. <laughs>